this week's show, the Georgia Southern Eagles hold their first scrimmage of the preseason. We'll take a look and see how things are going there. And we'll also check in on the Little Eagles camp. All that and more as we welcome you inside the Eagles Nest. Inside the Eagles Nest. I'm your host, Josh Aubrey, being joined by Mike Anthony, sports editor and Georgia Southern beat writer for the Statesboro Herald. And Mike, we're getting one week closer to the start of football season, one week closer to traveling to Auburn as the Eagles get set to take on the Tigers. And things are going pretty well so far, knock on wood. Not a lot of serious injuries at this time. And I think a lot of that can be attributed to the weight program and the way they've kind of been able to do things a little differently than at least last year as far as the uh, practice schedule goes and kind of keeping people fresh. Yeah, it, everyone that you talk to, um, regardless of the position group, they've just raved about the kind of summer that they had, uh, really getting after it in the weight room. And very evident when you look at the offensive and defensive lines, both of them have slimmed down a little bit. Of course, the offensive linemen, they've got to get downfield in this option blocking scheme. The defensive line, they've harped on being quicker, uh, getting through some blocks, running some slants, getting into the backfield. So all of them uh, spent their summer running. They're, they'll talk about how much they've been uh, driven, how hard they had to work. To them, it's almost fun here the last couple of weeks being able to hit somebody instead of just doing laps around the stadium. And they did get a chance to hit some people as they had the first scrimmage this past Friday. We're both out there. Your thoughts on how you felt like things went out there uh, during the scrimmage? Well, it's kind of like in baseball when, you know, in spring training, the, the pitchers are usually a little bit ahead of the hitters, and it looked like the defense a little bit ahead of the offense. And uh, talking to quarterback Shy Words after the scrimmage, he did say that maybe a few new things were thrown at him by the defense uh, that they weren't quite ready for, that they hadn't seen in practice when they were succeeding. And, of course, that won't be an excuse. If it happens during a game, you're going to have to cope with it. But... For the most part, uh, the defense may be getting a little bit of the better of the action. The offense, though, showing that big play potential that everybody was looking for last season. A couple of big runs, a few big passes, some run pass options. So it looks like the spark is there for the offense. It's just consistency that's going to be the key. And one of the other keys is going to be keeping the ball away from the ground because that can be uh, such a, a big factor because you just don't know with these young guys and these guys that haven't had a lot of college snaps what's going to happen when they're under the lights or in the big stage as far as running the triple option and or running some form of the option where the ball is going to be uh, going backwards and, and you got to get good snaps and things like that. Yeah, there's not only the pressure, uh, uh, the, the youth, and at some uh, positions inexperience of this team having to deal with that. There's also the, the issue of familiarity. You know, when you've got that ball in the guy's gut, does he know if you're giving it? Do you know if you're taking it back away? Pitch relation, you know, that guy's got to be there. The quarterback has to know he's there whether he's looking at him or not. It's kind of the same as they talk about quarterback and center, the snap exchange when you get under center. It's just a different fit for every guy. All those guys have to know their relationships so that it can be second nature when you've got 80,000 fans of Jordan Harris screaming at you. All right. Well, let's get out and see uh, what Coach had to say and some of the players about the first scrimmage of the preseason. They're going against the defense, and we've been having good practices. Uh, Today, I, I just don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? We, we executed good at times, but we didn't, you know what I'm saying, get all of it at once. And uh, I think that's kind of was our downfall as an offense. It's all on me. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll take that for the day. Um, offense, offensive line, they did good. You know what I'm saying? They did what they could do. They, they um, seen a lot of blitzes. They didn't see it in practice. Uh, defense put in some new stuff. But uh, it's good. We're going to get better. going to go get in the film room and, and see all that. So it's, it's fine. We'll be all right. It felt good, you know, we had some big plays and we had a couple of busts. I mean, overall, I feel like we got a, a couple more things that we need to uh, work on as an offense. Uh, defense did good, I think. We made a couple big plays, but I still like we got a long way to go for uh, September 2nd. Defense did great, you know, we flew around, made plays, uh, celebrated a lot, made it fun. But we're young, but, you know, we fly around, so there's no old guys. So we're ready to run and fly around the field and make plays. We'll watch film, we're going to uh, make corrections, you know, build off of that. 
and keep turning it up every week? Well, I thought there was a lot of energy. I thought there was a lot of excitement. I thought you saw uh, both sides of the ball really come out with a lot of juice. Uh, for nine nine practices in, uh, it really looks like we've got our legs, to be honest with you. A lot of times you're at this point in time and uh, guys look slug sluggish, guys look tired, those kind of things. I think that uh, you know what we've been able to do and trying to be able to uh, provide some time with those guys has really helped. I think they've been really smart with what they've been doing with their bodies. Uh, right now, the energy and excitement gets me excited as much as anything that they brought to the table. Uh, things that we need to do a better job of and correct is uh, from a defensive standpoint, uh, too many big plays early. You know, a couple balls over their head, missed tackles that go for long runs. Uh, Monteo Garrett had two big runs early on. In the series, you know, offensively, we poor ball security. You know, we're not taking care of the football. If we're going to uh, be an option team and, and maintain and focus the things we talk about, which is dominating the run game and leading the country and turnover margin, can't do what we did today. Uh, and not, not expect to win football games. We've talked about that. They know the importance of that. And uh, and we've certainly got to improve that. And, uh, and, and I think that what you saw today was uh, a bunch of guys who were trying to run around, have some excitement, and have some fun. And, uh, and we've got to be able to sit there at the same time, have it, too many penalties kind of to be expected. First scrimmage, ninth practice, uh, too many penalties. And you know, we'll try to ask those officials to, to do a good job and call it the way we need to call it. So we'll take a look at the tape, see who's played well individually, look at some things that we need to do better collectively. And uh, we'll have two different periods tomorrow to try to get it corrected and uh, be able to move on from there and practice again on Sunday morning. Well, Mike, while a lot of people were out there to kind of look at what the offense and defense of Georgia Southern uh, will have this year, there were also a lot of people out there kind of looking at the, where their season tickets would be and then waiting for autographs afterwards as part of the Fan Fest. Then Saturday came in a little Eagles camp. I know you're waiting in a couple more years. You'll finally be able to, uh, to be able to mix your business with pleasure and watch maybe Charlotte run out there on the field. But a lot of girls and boys out there on Saturday for part of the uh, little Eagles camp. Yeah, this really is one of the things that Georgia Southern's done best over the last couple of years is getting the fans involved. And one of the nice things about being, you know, now FBS, but still not having those 90,000 seat stadiums and 40,000 people showing up for a, for a scrimmage is you get to invite everybody down on the field. You get that personal connection, not only with the football team, but all the fall sports teams. You've got soccer and volleyball out there. They have their posters. You're getting autographs from them. And then, you know, what kid doesn't want to run out the Field of Dreams is good enough to have uh, during the games, but get out, get to run out on the actual field. They've got inflatables out there, some games. They can play with the football players on that field. Always a big draw. I know that I would have been out there if I was a 10-year-old. I'm kind of still out there now. So. All right, well, let's get out and see some highlights and talk to Coach Summers about this year's Little Eagles camp. Well, we're excited about the Little Eagles camp, and uh, we've got about 50 of our players out here today. Uh, like you said, have my own children, three boys that are nine, seven, and three, excited about them and everybody from our community in Statesboro being able to give back and have them an opportunity. Hopefully this is two nights in a row between Fan Fest last night and the Little Eagles today and looking forward to having a big time today and learning some football for these guys. And you have your players kind of running the, the Little Eagles camp. I'm sure they get a lot out of this too. They do. You know, uh, we've got a lot of guys, again, they were uh, a lot like the guys that will be out there tonight and uh, the guys and the girls that are really looking up to football players growing up and hoping and aspiring and dreaming to be able to be a Division I football player at some point in time. And so uh, their, their opportunity to give back tonight and kind of see those kids and see where they were at at their point in time uh, when they were young is a, is a big deal to them. So they're, they're really excited. Should they want to be role models? They should, yes. Uh, we talk about that all the time. It's uh, Again, another big piece for us in trying to teach, they should want to. Uh, we talk about all the time, just how you act all the time is the same way you should be able to act in front of uh, your mother, your grandmother, or anybody else, and trying to treat people like they're a member of your family. And so we certainly try to talk to them about the role models that they need to be, because they don't know what kid is looking at them at what time, or what words they hear, or how they take something. So we're trying to be that at all points in time. Hey, Miss Thompson, everything's fine. It's gonna be no problem, I'll have you done in a few minutes. My name is Paisley Nordhaus, part owner of Complete Car Care, and I want you to come see me. A couple final notes, the uh, day one event will be held next week for Georgia Southern. Hopefully the weather will cooperate. It hasn't done that in the past, but uh, 
that's going on next week. And also, Mike, we have the soccer, which typically starts the uh, season as far as Georgia Southern Athletics go. Yeah, women's soccer kicking off the season for themselves and for the 2017-2018 uh, overall university athletics. They've got a couple of exhibition games, both of them at home on Thursday. They take on uh, Jacksonville on Saturday. Georgia comes to town. Then they'll have another week to prepare. And then next Friday, the first official event of the season, they'll be at home uh, hosting Florida Gulf Coast. It should be a good time. They're looking for improvement this season and maybe even looking to contend in what should be another really good Sun Belt. All right, well, that'll wrap things up for now. For Mike Anthony, I'm Josh Aubrey. We thank you for joining us. Hope to see you again next week.